NASCAR is coming to you live from Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Bank of America 500 on PRN. Last week, the field of championship hopefuls was cut down to 12. This week, the playoffs roll on at this 1.5 mile quad oval located in the heart of NASCAR country. In 2016, Jimmy Johnson won this event, building momentum that would eventually lead him to a seventh championship. Who will find themselves in victory lane today? What is up, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back again with another episode of NASCAR Heat 2 Career. And today we are in for the round of 12, beginning here at Charlotte. So we've got three races going in today's video. I'm already getting run into. Ooh, guys, keep it straight. Okay, yep. Yeah, this is the problem when uh, everybody on the track hates your guts. This, is, uh, this has been a serious struggle for us. I think I'm starting to get a little bit better with dealing in it, though. I've learned to kind of steer into the contact with the uh, with the other drivers. And it doesn't work all the time, but sometimes it does actually help. So, using another setup today, as you saw, we qualified, what, second or something? I don't even remember already. But, uh, yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. Because they just slam into you, so you might as well just slam them back. That way you don't go flying into the outside wall. We've got a lot of speed here on the outside lane. As we clear Keselowski for the lead here. Two laps into the stage, so doing good already. We just got to keep it going in the correct direction. And coming off of the final corner here, that is going to be stage one in the books with another stage win on the season. Very nicely done once again. All right, starting on the inside this time. Restarts are always a little bit treacherous when everybody runs into you. Um, Brad's good to us, but Truex and, and Kyle both want us dead. So, uh, sorry Brad, I'm already kind of shoving him up a lane. Three wide. Kyle is really trying. And he's going to just shove us into the outside wall. And we're going to get ricocheted back out there again. So, And the caution's out. Really? I don't really think a caution was necessary there. I gathered it up. It's not like I was stopped dead on the track, but caution will come out for that, but it won't come out when I get obliterated by half the field. So, uh, you know, strict yellows could use a little bit of uh, tweaking. And, uh, you know, it can't be perfect, but uh, slight improvements make the world a difference. So back in ninth, after all that contact, we're going to send it in on the outside here. Do some pretty good results, but this is going to be tight. Three wide. Uh, keep it out of the wall. And I'm in the wall. And I'm in the Hamlin. And there it is. And I'm just going to get just destroyed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is going on? What was that? I just got absolutely obliterated once again. Just got sent through the friggin' spin cycle. The whirlwind came at me hard, but we're restarting in the back. Gonna make it up to about 29th here, so not great. All right. We need a little bit of improvement. We do need to pit. Everybody else also needs to pit, but we can stay out longer than they can. So we'll, I guess, hope that uh, maybe there's a caution or something and try and trap them some laps down. Or uh, just try and make it work, I guess. I don't really know. Junior, you got to pick a lane, bud. I guess he's going to come up in front of me, and Jimmy's going to come up in front of him, and I'm going to have to check up. Cool. Send it on the outside again. Almost got into the wall. Here they all come to pit road. So we'll take the lead after that. We are good to go for a few more laps. So, uh, But we do have to pit still, so I don't really know what we're going to do here. All right, I'm just going to bring it down to pit road. No. Okay. And, well, all right, fine. <laughs> all right, so restart in front row. Everybody pretty much, oh, my God, okay. Yep, that was an extra restart if I've ever seen one. But uh, everybody's on the lead lap now, so we just got to race as hard as we can. Jones is going to try our outside and try to crash us, I'm sure. Hey, he's keeping it clean so far, but... Uh, just got to stay out front here. If we can keep them getting shuffled back and slammed into the wall, we'll probably be in pretty good shape here. We'll take the outside to try and get in front of Jones. Had to let off the gas a little bit more than I like. 
Get a run. Not quite going to clear him. Ooh, contact. And there it is in the wall. But it wasn't that bad, actually. So we uh, just lose two. Or, well, we lose one spot, I guess. But back to third. So we can send it in here pretty deep. It's getting really loose. When the tires get worn, this setup really, uh, it, it's still good, but it, it gets a little bit worse. Uh, as most setups, I guess, change throughout a race, but... Ooh, more contacts with Jones. That is a decent entry there, and actually that's going to be it. And, of course, the caution comes out. So, just my luck, the caution comes out as I make the move for the lead. Which is... God, what are those restarts? So I was really hoping we wouldn't see another caution, but of course here we are. Uh, just my luck. But if we can stay out front, we can win fairly easily. We're in overtime, so as long as we get to the white flag, I really don't care what happens. And then once we win this race, I can just phone in the next two races and be on the round of eight. Or is it the round of 12? I don't even know what round I'm in anymore. Is this the round of 12? I think this is the round of 12. Yeah, this is the round of 12. Don't listen. I, white flag. <laughs> this is a round of 12. So once we win this race, we're good to go. And then Martinsville is at the beginning of the round of eight. So then we're really good to go. And then it could be a pretty easy run to Homestead. And uh, possibly a uh, third championship in three seasons. So it's looking good right now as we come off of turn four for the final time. And we will get the win here at Charlotte in the Bank of America 500. Pretty happy about it. As you can tell, I'm just thrilled. <laughs> so there's the finishing order there. First, myself, Matt Kenseth, and Dale Jr. Second and third. A couple of throwback guys that are uh, no longer racing as a tear goes down my eye. Kyle Larson, 30-something laps down. That is... What happened to him? Don't know. 363,000 plus 100,000. Another solid paycheck. Puts us up to 19, almost 19.7. And that is your points playoff standings. Joey, Kurt, Kyle, and Newman all looking uh, on the outside, looking in rather. But there's our trophy for winning at Charlotte. So we'll take that back to the shop with us. And that's actually the incentive contract done right there. So. That's pretty cool, and we're running out of races fast here. What is there? Uh, there's sign another incentive contract. We've got six races left, so we'll head to Talladega next. Today, we make our final stop at Talladega Super Speedway for the running of the Alabama 500. The NASCAR playoffs are in full swing as we're only a week away from the field being cut down to eight. A win is all it takes to clinch a spot in the next round, but that's easier said than done, especially at this place. This is NASCAR, and this is Talladega. Alrighty, getting ready at Talladega. I did qualify, only got us a couple more positions on the track, up to 37th overall, so not great. Not really expecting much here at Talladega, but luckily for us, because we're locked in now with our win at Charlotte, it doesn't really matter what happens to us, so, um, you know, we're just going to kind of coast through these next two races, really. It's not, um, not something I'm really worried about, so let's get through it here as we're already losing some ground on the field, but we'll get in the draft and hopefully make that back up. Six laps in the stage, so, and laps here at Talladega are pretty long, too, so doesn't, uh, definitely not a sprint this this race is a uh, one of the longer ones with the, when it comes to like feels like length this is the one where you got to sit down and like just kind of you know nail it out so already up to 35th after one lap so gonna just kind of take it slow and steady and try and stay out of trouble and Larson oh Larson Easy now. Easy now. Larson, that is not nice of you. And he's going to hit us again. And there he goes. And they're crashing to Talladega, and the caution is out. Alrighty, so after a 
sort of mini one. I guess it was it was a, it definitely wasn't a big one, but it was a, a, a good sized one. I guess you would call it. Um, but it is what it is here. Paul Menard's gonna try and ride us down the track. We'll get by him and uh, back underway for stage two. Easy, Kenseth, there, please. Ooh, I'm getting loose, loose. Sorry, Amarola. Stay up there. Stay up there and save it. And he comes down and nails us. Great. Just great. Alrighty, here. Back underway after getting destroyed by Amarola. After we caused the accident. I'm not going to sit here and lie about it. I did get loose, but... Starting at the back. Going to have to try and pull some fuel strategy now or something to, to get this thing going. So, I guess we'll see. Long ways to go still. Mm, I just don't get a run. And I am using a setup. I don't know if I even mentioned that yet, but I'm using a set. Oh, God, Blaney, why? And it does help a little bit, but I mean, it, you can only get so much help at a restricted plate track when it comes to... Would you stop, Blaney? Okay, thank you. So that's going to be it for stage two, 34th, just abysmal. Alrighty, back underway here. Did our little fuel gamble, I guess you would say. Not really a fuel gamble, more of a tire gamble. You don't really need tires. Uh, I figured I'd at least take uh, take a little bit more fuel to make it to the end. And already we're getting a pretty good start here, Kyle. Thank you for that. Oh, we're getting a push from Stenhouse. And actually, Stenhouse just gave us a big help there. So we were getting trapped on the inside, and Stenhouse is pushing us right to the lead. We'll push Bush by Logano here. Looks like Jimmy's out front. Hopefully Logano doesn't try anything. He thought about it. My question is higher low. I'm not going to clear Bush. We're definitely going low. Joey's going to give me a bump here. Sorry, Stenhouse. He kind of got dumped out there. But not a bad start to this last uh, final stage here. And uh, the, the two-car tandem returns. Okay, this is lower than I want to be. No, 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 no. Wow. I'm amazed I actually held on to that. We did lose a lot of speed. I'm just going to try and keep it kind of low here. And and Boyer's just going to destroy me up the track. All right. Fair enough. It's dropping back quite a few spots from that. We've lost a pretty decent amount of momentum. But um, these guys should have to be pit pretty soon. So... Um, I don't know whether to... I definitely don't want to get down to the low side because if they pull off and I slam to the back of them like I have a couple of times this season. So I'm just going to let them do their thing. And it looks like... Yep, they're coming down. So there goes a couple of them and we'll probably shed some more within the next couple of laps. And we should be able to make it to the end. And Stenhouse is going to get held up by some lap traffic. Maybe, possibly. He did a pretty good job managing it. But it looks like he's going to slow down to come to pit road. And we'll get by him on the outside, potentially, and we do. So that gives us the lead. Hopefully we can uh, avoid any more cautions to get to the end. Gonna really be stretching it on fuel here, but we should have uh, plenty to get to the end here. Now we can coast home, get the draft to Kansas anyway, and we will win here at Talladega. So two wins in a round of 12, that's uh, that's pretty good. I really didn't expect to win here at Talladega today. That also means we swept Talladega too, because we won the uh, the earlier race in the season. So, very nice. 310,000, 100,000. That puts us over the $20 million threshold. So very nice. Here are your point standings with one race left before the cutoff. Kyle Busch is sitting on the outside looking in, as well as Kurt. Ryan Newman and Kyle Larson. So uh, there are your standings there. Here's our trophy. Another generic one. We'll take it back to the shop with us. All right. So that's another race in the books. That's the final plate track done. So I'm happy about that because I've done pretty poorly at those this season besides Talladega. And next up is Kansas. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump right into that one and finish off the round of 12. Today, NASCAR returns to Kansas City for the Hollywood Casino 400, the sixth race of the NASCAR playoffs. 40 drivers will do battle on this 1.5-mile tri-oval, but only 12 have a shot at winning the championship. 
In 2016, Kevin Harvick took the checkered flag here, a win that catapulted him to the next round. Will we see something like that happen this year? Well, let's head down to the track and get this race started. You know, I'm not going to lie. I kind of missed the, the couple of seasons we had where Talladega was the uh, the round ending race. It always added like an extra bit of excitement. I remember going absolutely ballistic when Brad Keselowski won his uh, must win race at Talladega in 2014. Uh, I was going nuts watching that. It was it was one of the probably one of my favorite racing memories, you know, in the past 10 years. So uh, pretty cool there. But uh, anyway, we're here at Kansas using the setup. It's a pretty good one, but we uh, did manage to get stuck kind of mid-pack for qualifying. Uh, but we shouldn't have too much trouble getting up the front if we can just keep it all headed in the right direction. By Junior on the outside here. And uh, his career winding down in our career mode. Obviously, it's already over in real life. Uh, Racing-wise, it is. I heard he's going to be at the Super Bowl. That's pretty cool. I wonder what he'll be doing there. So uh, definitely be watching for that. And this is going to be tight right here as Harvick squeezes us into the outside wall. Thank you for that, Harv. Appreciate it. So a uh, couple of guys on the outside looking in right here. The Bush brothers and Logano right here. Bunch of chasers up here at the front. Playoffers, what do you want to call it? I will, you know, as much as I, I, I try to stay in times with the Owen, Logano's going to spin behind me, and he saved it. Never mind. But, uh, you know, it's been the playoffs for, the, what, a year now? And I, I it, the, the chase, the name, the chase, has just been so heavily ingrained into my brain as Larson takes a shot at us that I don't think I'll ever be able to shake it. I think I'll always call it the chase, even though I think the playoffs sounds a lot cooler. So uh, it's not something I do on purpose. It's just that it's like Sonoma. I call him Sonoma Infineon a lot still, and it hasn't been Infineon for a pretty long time now, so... It is what it is. Uh, I guess we'll take it. I've always called California Fontana, too, because that's just always what I've known it as. It's in Fontana, California. So, uh, But now it's like Auto Club, Speedway, you know, although you know the deal. So, Ooh, we are loose. And Truex is going to give us a shot. So, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm pretty much just phoning this race in. It doesn't really matter if we do good or bad because we're already locked in with two wins. So... Uh, oh, hit Truex. Oh, we're tandeming. The tandem. Oh, that was awesome. I'm amazed I actually saved that. <laughs> that was cool. All right, finally up to these guys here. Ooh, that was tied off of that corner. Uh, what just happened to Keselowski? Did you guys see that? Oh, and he's loose. He's wrecking. Did you guys see that? His ticker went from first all the way down to like 10th. And like, he, he was in first. What the hell just happened there? What was that about? Go back and rewind that. Look at Keselowski's, like that little nameplate above his name. And it went, he was in first. And it went all the way back to like 10th. And then he just started dropping back. Like, he must have had some kind of mechanical problem or something. He's been having... A couple of those this season, and he must have crashed because now the caution's out a couple laps early. Huh. So that's going to hurt Keselowski in the points for sure. That was one of the weirdest things I ever saw. He was in first, and then his ticker went all the way back to 10th. <laughs> he was still in first. And then he just started dropping, so... Uh, yeah, tough break for him, I guess. Sucks, but... Uh, we pit, and we'll be starting at the back here with Truex. And it looks like... Yep, these guys are definitely going to come down and pit. So that will gift us the lead here with, what is it, five laps left in the second stage. So a couple more left here to go. And that'll be the stage two win for us pretty easily. So uh, we'll see what stage three brings us. Hopefully we'll be able to bring it home and sweep two rounds in a row. That'd be pretty cool. Be ready. Have a good day. Stay sharp. Underway here once again. And uh, I think we got enough to make it to the end here. 12 laps to go. It's going to be... Uh, oh, why would you do that chase? Why? And never mind. Oh, my God. We got obliterated again. What is this? All right. Well, luckily, I was able to pit and remain, like, in the top 10 because the guys behind us were all laps down from that fuel strategy earlier. So... 
we still up here with a shot in it, even though we were just flipping down the front straightaway. So um, not too worried about it. It's just going to be about getting back by some of these guys without too much hassle, which probably won't be easy. And, yep, and Larson's going to just squeeze us, and we're going to get wrecked again. That is cool. We're almost blowing over here. And the big one happens on the back stretch of Kansas. Alrighty, so that, uh, that, that's gone pretty horribly now. Um, there goes just about all of our chance of winning. So, um, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> it sucks, but it's like, yeah, we're already locked in. Who really cares? I guess. I don't know. I, I really don't. So, oh man, they're crashing in front of me now. What is going on? This is the dumbest race I've seen in quite a few races now. <laughs> Oh, wrecking in front of me. I wasn't even really paying attention. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, let's get this thing going. So, a couple of laps left here now. It seems like it's been a caution fest, just a wreck fest these last couple of races. Talladega was pretty clean, but man. Wreck fest indeed. So. You're on the ow, oh, and I'm going to get tipped. Uh, and there it is again. And there it is. Wow. Wow. What is happening? And we're all, we're flipping over again. What is going on? All right. Hopefully the final restart. Please let it be the final restart. I don't want to be in this race anymore. Just let me go on to round of eight. I've already made it there. Let's just get it over with. Ooh, easy. Almond, Almond Dinger's trying his hardest to wreck me. Oh, and I got loose and came back into him. Yep, there it is. And there's another crash. At least it was on the last lap this time. The race is over. 29th. Absolutely terrible. That's going to fail our incentive contract. So, that's just great. So, one lap down. 29th. We did win, uh, win, win both the first and second stage. But, didn't get the finishing result we wanted overall. So, here are your point standings. And, wow. Kurt Busch, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Larson, and Ryan Newman are all eliminated some big names out there, especially Larson and Keselowski. So those guys are out, and we're headed back to the shop. And there you'll have it. So Jay Elliott says we're one step closer to uh, to the dream. Even though he hates our guts, uh, he's real happy for us. So I guess we'll take that for what it's worth. And that'll pretty much wrap up this episode. The round of 12 is over. We will begin the round of 8 in the next episode. So thank you everybody as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that I will see you guys in the next one where we commence the round of 8. Yeah.